so guys it's really simple so this is our default cube select the default cube press x and then delete shift plus a mesh then add a plane tap to edit mode let's give it a suitable paper size press on x to x scale then press x right click subdivide let's subdivide it like 20 times click somewhere else shift plus a mesh then add icosphere press 7 to top view tap to edit mode go to x-ray mode s to s scale s scale it bigger than our paper size tap to object mode select the icosphere let's go to wireframe view click on modifier tab then select the solidify modifier increase the thickness now click on physics properties then enable collision leave everything as default now select the plane or the paper enable cloth then click on this icon for preset select the leather preset scroll down go to bending reduce it like 15 10 to 15 scroll down click on the collision arrow check self collision increase the friction to a higher value like 20 then click on field weight scroll down reduce the gravity to zero we forgot to put material on our plane so let's hide the icosphere go to material preview go to material tab add a new material class icon then new go to shading tab click on add then search for image texture click on the open and look for the paper which one you want to squeeze so select the dollar now the color to the principal base base color now go to UV editing tab move your cursor to right side press A to select everything now move your cursor to left side press A to select everything now press S to scale give it the same size as your note let's go back to shading so our dollar is ready now go back to layout tab let's bring it up enable icosphere view let's go back to solid view select the icosphere we are in animation timeline we are at the first frame press on i then the scale then go to around like 50 press s to scale the icosphere let's scale it down it seems like okay press on i again then scale after the scaling is done hide the icosphere from rendering select the plane again go to physics properties tab scroll down cache our icosphere animation was from frame 1 to 50 so simulation start 1 and in to 50 now click on this bake so baking is done let's go to material preview let's check so guys that's how easily you can crumble or squeeze any paper in blender now you can use other modifiers like uh, bevel subdivision surface modifier to make it more cool so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial